Hello, everybody. This is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! And I'm back, baby. Back with more chess. Back with more chess. Chess, 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 chess. Let's start with a frost knight. Why not? Let's start ourselves with a frost knight. Yeehaw. Pretty sure I yeehawed air. Yeehawed air. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, what's going on here? I was like rushing. I was rushing to get this game going. I wanted to get a match started. Then it took me forever to find a match. One popped up, and then I didn't hit the button fast enough. I, I just wasn't moving quick enough because I was paying attention to something else. It took me forever to find another match. So now I just feel like I'm, I'm wired, man. I'm out there. I'm wired. That's what's going on with me. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad that you're here. I am going to try a build that was suggested to me by Matt. It's either Matt or M-A-T. And he wanted me to do a divine fortune teller build. So the idea behind this being that the fortune teller is going to get to use their ability a whole bunch and everyone's going to be protected from dying. Could be pretty fun. And I was thinking of what to pair it with. I'm not positive what I want to pair it with yet, but I'm pretty sure I want to do Divine Knights with it. I thought that would be a fun way to do it. So let's see. We got a couple assassins here. We've got an Abyssal Guard here. We could have Marine early. Okay. I'll throw an assassin out there. Why not? Sure. This is a weird group of people, huh? We've got a Frost Knight. We've got a Skull Hunter, an Abyssal Crawler. None of it really adds up. So my thought with this here is let's get this Divine build going. I was thinking maybe we'd lose just because, you know, it is a Priest. So we could go through a Lost Streak uh, to get it started here. But we don't have to. We'll just start with Divine Knights, which, by the way, I think Divine Knights is a really powerful build. Huh. Not getting much of what I want. No, not getting much of what I want at all. Okay. We need some mana items for the build I'm looking to do here. Let the hunt begin. Let's get you out there. And I could probably drop some of these assassins here. We'll go ahead and pick up this Hell Knight. We've got some cave. we got some knight going on. Not, none of this is actually contributing to our overall build, but... Cave is always just such a great place to start. When you don't know where to start, start with cave. Item-wise, uh, I don't know. I don't like a lot of this. I, I can use a broken sword. I'll take this for, for a teleport dagger possibly later. Otherwise, I'm going to take our cattle hide armor, and I'm going to take this lucky coin. I'm just going to make some armor here. Normally, you guys see me. You know me. I wait forever. No, I'm not going to do panda. I'm going to resist it. I'm resisting the panda urge. Let's get another knight out there. And another glacial out there. Put this on. Probably put this on our... Uh, well, I'll put it on Swordman. He's just really good. But I can actually also see putting this on Hell Knight. Hell Knight's a really great early game unit. It doesn't get enough love, I think, because... I feel like it falls off kind of later, but I like it. I haven't done like a divine hell knight build. That'd be kind of fun. Because when you get multiple demons out there, they can take advantage of divine again, can't they? Right? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, man. I don't know what that's an impression of. Ooh, we lost. I thought we actually had a strong build. I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't think we were going to lose that one. Uh, well, you're gonna get <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch it up. Let's get our items over here. Oh, well, you know, we got a two-star. How much health do you got? You got 1,400 health. Yeah, I'm moving everything over to you. It's usually good to beef up your strongest unit, right? Could maybe move you over like this. Let's see what that does for us. Uh, yeah, I think we're doing okay. We don't have a single unit that's part of our build, but we're doing okay. I mean, I could go divine and use, this, you know, a swordman carry and do some mages and stuff like that. But I just thought it'd be fun to use knights, and uh, I think they'd work pretty well with this idea. So, let's see. Well, 
Especially, you know, getting an Argali Knight in there, just... Using his powers to heal everybody. That was the sound of healing, by the way. The sound of healing. And this is a song I made up just now. Okay. Um, I don't need to roll because we're not, like, winning-winning or losing-losing. I'm fine with where we are. I could sell everything. What do I get? I could sell enough to get interest, right? I got five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I could sell it all. I might... Maybe I should do that. It also would be nice to get this Swordman to star up, though. All right, let's see. I think I'm going to sell it all. Okay. Sold it all but one. I hung on to a Red Axe Chief. It could have been anybody. It could have been the Frost Knight. It could have been the Unicorn. There's an Evil Knight and a Goddess of Light, both of whom are part of our build. Um, normally, I would star up. Excuse me. I would um, level up here. No. That's next round anyway. We're good. We're all good. I'm talking crazy talk. Um, evil Knight better i'm not sure considering he's the only demon out there he's pretty good because his attack gets you know strong evil knight might be better just because evil knight's got a really good ability we'll see evil knight's really fun actually inside this build getting to cast a ton as a divine unit it's pretty cool hey all right not doing too bad. That person was on a lost streak, so you can't really celebrate a win too hard when you beat the person who's intentionally losing. But look, you're not gonna get me to not celebrate my wins. Do I, what do I gotta sell here? I got two to sell over here. I, I'll probably, no, I'll level. I was gonna say I could get 20 gold, but screw it, I'm just gonna level. And get another knight in here. Like a distracting knight. Look at him over there being all distracting. Who are you? What are you distracting everybody from, evil knight? Nobody else we need, right? No. So, off to a decent start. A decent start. Not a win streak, but not a loss streak either. Got a interesting little setup of units. Three knights. To Glacial, to Cave. And soon here, we'll be switching it all over, baby. Uh, yes, and yes. Um, I can drop Glacial and just do four, uh, four Night. Wouldn't be bad. And then the question is, do I grab Lightblade Knight? I don't think I do. I don't think so. Well, you know, maybe I could have moved faster, pulled Cave out of there. I just like Cave. I really like the extra health. I feel like it gives everyone time to cast. Four knights, they probably have time to cast, but whatever. So, um, we are looking to get to level seven here soon. And once we are level seven, we are going to go ahead and get our build together. I definitely am going to take this Magicka Crystal. I will probably make a Teleport Dagger, but I was asked to put a Refresher Orb. Ooh, Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper's so good. Okay, Soul Devourer. All right, let's see. We got a lot of what we need here. I'm going to give everything over to you. I just like you so much, Argali Knight. Okay. Uh, God of War. So what are we missing here? We're missing Grand Herald. And is that it? We got you three. Okay, we need Grand Herald. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll be okay if we just find Grand Herald. I need to save some money too, so it's possible we lose here soon. We just need to get over 50 gold so I can get all that sweet, sweet interest. I mean, it's not bad though. Four knights, a demon, some cave. It's a good, good little setup. 
It's a good little setup. And it's time to make sure the pieces are in order. Bum, 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 bum. You know, I told the auto chess people that I'd write songs for them. And they said, that's the stupidest idea we've ever heard. Why would we ever want you to do that? And um, I was hurt. Yeah, it was upsetting. Um, did I cry about it? Yeah. I mean, you know, I didn't get crazy emotional about it, but uh, there were some nights where I, you know, um, refused to go to bed with my wife because I was just kind of up weeping into the wee hours. You know, I, I this is boring. Who cares? So what? You know, but when I think about it, uh, okay, let's get back to reality, Jake. The reality of you're actually on a win streak right now, buddy. Get your head in the game, pal. Uh, and we got an Evil Knight two star. I'm gonna move everything over to Evil Knight right now. It's probably still even good on our Golly Knight, but I mean, you got a two star guy. He's got 1500 health. I'm just gonna beef him up. He's my little beef cake. He's my little beef cake. What a sweet boy. And yeah, I don't need to star up that sword, man. I'm fine. It's cool that I'm on a win streak, but I'm also fine with dropping it. I never planned on being on this win streak. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay. Look at that evil knight going, man. Look at all the damage he's doing. And I could actually... I could pull the cave at any time and put in divine. I just kind of wanted to wait. But I could do it at any moment. It'll also give me some gold. Hey, there's our fortune teller, too. Gosh, we're just, uh, you know what? This is just one of those times where everything seems to be going our way, huh? I am going to get rid of uh, these guys just to give me some money here. And we'll take the divine synergy for the time being. And this will just give everyone here the chance to cast a lot faster. Faster caster? Faster, caster. Uh, Frost Knight is going to be leaving soon. Don't know if I mentioned that, but Frost Knight will be going. He's been a wonderful teammate, but he's got to go. Because Frost Knight is going to trigger the racial synergy with our fortune teller. So he can't hang out. He's not going to be able to be part of the team, unfortunately. That's what happens. We lose cave and then we lose... Although, what was this, a uh, divine uh, water spirit? Just kind of going nuts on us. Look at all that. Love, water spirit. Big ups to you, water spirit. Can't be mad at you. Love you, brother. Love you. Love everything you're about. Okay. Lightblade Knight. Um, I don't think you make the build. Let me see. Get out of here, Lightblade Knight. Okay. I will put our fortune teller out there. So this is mostly our build. We don't have our Grand Herald. What am I doing? <laughs> As I'm like putting all these units around, I'm just looking at it. And I'm thinking, what am I even doing? This isn't going to work. What am I doing? Oh, round 15. We all know what round 15 means for your resident content cowboy here. This is a nail biter round for me always because I find a way to lose it. Ugh. Okay. Rune hammer. Okay. I can make another piece of armor here, or I could make a Molnir, which is just fun. Um, I don't love a lot of this. I'll probably end up taking this cattle hide armor. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to. Ugh. Molnir's fun, though. It really is a fun item. Ah, I'm gonna, ah, I'm gonna take the cattle hide. Okay, I'm just kitting you out. Let's move everybody around, see what happens. Okay, uh, we've got over 50 gold, so now we just need to find that Grand Herald, which we just did. Oops! Oh, I gotta get you out there. Dang it! I didn't get him out fast enough. 
So we've got everybody we need for our build. I lose four night unless I'm level eight. I don't like going level eight this early. So what I might do is start, um, start without fortune teller and just use divine knights for a moment. Actually, that's probably the better strategy. Ooh, that was a big loss. That's probably the better strategy. Hey, Avenge Knight. I can use Avenge Knight for this. I could. I could also use Hell Knight. Avenge Knight's a good knight, though. Good night, good night. Good night, good night, construction site. That's a, that's a children's book that I read to my daughter. <laughs> it's a good book. All right. Jake, you're a king. Now the question is, do I roll here and star everyone or do I get to eight? I'm gonna try to get to eight. This is not the strategy I would take uh, for the Divine Knight build normally, but I wanna get our fortune teller out there. So normally with Divine Knights, I would not be going to level eight right here. I'd be staying at level seven, focusing on our Golly Knight and starring him up. But right now, I want to just, uh, you know, we've got plenty of health, plenty of money. We're not on a streak. So let's go ahead and make it to level eight and complete this build. And then we're just going to start rolling and getting everybody we need. Uh, Frost Knight, you can't come. You're not part of the fun trip, Frost Knight. Great. So next round, we're going to level naturally. We push ourselves to level eight. And that might be the last time we level in this game, period. What's this uh, guy who hasn't lost anything? What's he using? He's got two Hell Knights, an Argali Knight, an Evil Knight, and three Goblins. Okay. He's the guy who beat us earlier. I thought it'd be something better, but all his units are too starred. So it's, it's pretty good. You know what happened earlier? I had some kombucha, and I think it's making me crazy. I feel like there's I feel like there's a wordplay joke in kombucha, but I'm not I'm not figuring it out. Okay, here we go. Level eight, and now we're gonna put our fortune teller out on the board, and this sort of completes our build. And now it's level time. It means all our focus is on leveling our people up. I I'm gonna save this egg. I might use it. For someone like uh, Argali Knight, I might at some point, but I'll save it for now. Grab another unicorn, and does Hell Knight make it back out there? I don't. It's either Hell Knight or Avenge. Now the thing is, Hell Knight benefits from the Divine Synergy, but Avenge Knight's a better knight and stacks and gains power if we happen to win. So, yeah. Hmm. I could see both, honestly. I could see both strategies. Look at an Evil Knight. Just He's putting shields on everybody. And they're like, wait, Evil Knight's not dead? I'm going to hold on to Hell Knight just for a sec. And I might, I might put him out. If he two stars, obviously, I'm going to put him out there in place of Avenge Knight. But I... Oh, evil Knight. I mean, I might, I might three-star Evil Knight. I don't even know. You can't tell me what to do. Let's see. I'll hold off. Well, you can roll a little. Dragon Knight. Ooh. Dragon Knight. He doesn't benefit at all from the synergy either, though. Really. I like him, but... No, I'm not going to do Dragon Knight. Made up my mind. Oh, we're getting rocked. This might be a loss. You thought I was going to lose on round 15. Nuh-uh. I lost on round 20, baby. This is a new way to lose, apparently. Oh, that evil knight. At least he's keeping up with them a little bit, but now they're really letting him have it. Yeah, keep him alive. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh! Oh, <laughs> close one. There's our Magicka Crystal. This is stupid. This is a bad idea. This is a stupid, stupid, stupid idea. I'm taking it and I'm putting it on him. <laughs> 
Terrible idea. Don't do that. For everyone watching is like, should I do that? No, do not do that. That's a bad idea. Sorry. Take evil knight. Oh, I'm not moving fast enough. This round's starting. Oh my god. All right. I'm just getting rid of that unicorn. I'm thinking too much. I'm going to roll. Next round, I'm really rolling. I promise. I promise, promise, promise I'm rolling. They penguined us. No, they can't cast. Evil Knight. They penguined you, my sweet prince. Penguin and a silence. Yeah, take as many of those sons of bees as you can, Evil Knight. All right, we gotta we gotta roll here. We gotta start some people up. Our golly knight, our golly knight, god of war, goddess of light, grand herald. Ladies and gentlemen, my personal War never changes. Man. I can't believe I'm doing that. Oops! He pulled him back. I should have just got rid of these stupid Hell Knights. I'll do it now. Now we got two two-star Evil Knights on the board. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be it, but it's uh, it's an Evil Knight party. Everyone's invited to the Evil Knight party. I didn't get invited to the Evil Knight party. Yes, you did. Everybody did. Okay. That was a loss, I think, purely because we lost our four divine. Um, get out of there, second evil knight. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's our evil knight. You two. You two chuckleheads. Let's see what else we got here. Avenge knight. One more roll. Our golly again. I made that split decision. I was like, you know what? Normally, I'd star up Argali, but this time, I'm starring up Evil Knight, baby. We're going to have a three-star Evil Knight. But now that Argali is two-starred, it would probably be smart to at least give him a piece of armor so he's not just out there like a jerk, you know? Fortune Teller is uh, useless right now, and at least until he's two-starred. He's not going to do much for us, I don't think. I love all these shields. It's like, it's shield and heal. Shield, heal. Shield, heal. Oh, wow. We almost beat the uh, the full-on wind streaker. Jeez. With a better setup, you know, we might have done something there. Okay. Let's keep going. Unicorn, I'm not even going to bother with you because I know what I'm going to end up doing. I know myself too well. I'm just going to mess up. I'm not going to have enough bench space. And I'm going to hate myself for all my choices. Okay, I'm going to move Fortune Teller back here. Let's see. I'm going to let our golly have one of these. And then I can actually probably stack... Attack items. Well, I could stack him on Avenge Knight, but he just doesn't live as long as our Golly or Evil, you know, for obvious reasons. These assassins are killing him. He's surrounded on all sides by assassins. <laughs> all right. We're on a losing streak. We got our build, and now we're losing. What do we say to the, the build is completed, and now we're losing. The Jake Sprague story. Okay, um, do I three-star Avenge? I doubt it. I'm going to say that right now. I really doubt it. But I will see. Um, okay. I could at least give these items over to our sweet boy here. I could stack more thing on a more things on Avenge Knight, just make Avenge Knight more viable. But really, the two who are making this build work are Argali and Evil. It's 
probably more Argali, but it's just so fun to just keep putting shields on everybody. You got to admit it's fun. If you don't admit it's fun, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, a Magicka Staff or a Magicka Crystal. I am going to take the Crystal. Yeah, just because I want the... I want my Argali Knight to be zipping around here. And with that, I'm going to take one more of these. Put it on you. And I will... I'll wait. I'll wait on that. Revenge, maybe. God of War. Uh, I think I am going to get rid of these Avenge Knights. I think so. He's not going to be the one. Okay. How's everybody doing? Is everybody having a good time? Look at that. Bers uh, I was going to say Berserker. They got that Sacred Lancer doing work in there. Making us work for it, Sacred Lancer. It is cool uh, when our fortune teller does its thing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to grab that one when it came by the other round, which is a bummer because it's we have a one star. There's one. A one star fortune teller. I'd egg him, but I'm so close to having a three star evil knight that I just can't bring myself to do it. Okay. Everything's going okay. I can't complain. We're having a good time. Our build's doing its thing. We got some money. Oh, these are these assassins who murdered us last time. And they really did. But they plan on doing it again. And you know what? I don't have a good plan to stop them. There we go. Not too shabby. That Argali Knight's just going nuts, you know? I, I swear, Divine Argali Knight's just brutal. It's brutal. All right. Sure. There's our fortune teller. Two star fortune teller, finally, huh? Goddess of Light, Soul Devourer. We already got you, yeah. Okay. We're close. We're really close on a few people. And we should have a unit three starred in the next couple rounds. God of War, Evil Knight, and uh, Argali are all options for a three starred unit. It is cool. I mean, the fortune teller is keeping people alive. It's fun to watch. I would love to three-star that fortune teller. It'd be the dumbest thing. It's like no reason at all. A fortune teller running around with a refresher orb. I mean, I guess there's our golly knight. Nice. Avenge. Grand Herald. Already got you. Evil knight. Ooh, I'm tempted to egg it. I'm tempted right now. Don't make me egg it. I'll do it. I'm going to take one of these. I'm just going to put one of these on Fortune Teller. I'm going to let him be like fodder for any assassins or whoever wants to jump back there. Oh, here's the really good guy. This is the guy who's winning this whole thing. He's got a 20 round win streak. Killing it. Just killing it. Has he got a lot of magic damage? Yeah, I mean, I mean, not magic, but ability damage. I wonder, you know, I think a three-star Argali Knight might have helped that exchange a bit. I'm not so sure about a three-star evil, but we'll see. Hmm. Got a war. Do it, buddy. Okay. 
So the question is, what unit do I put in next? There are a few options. Um, I could level all the way and just get something else in there completely, you know, to help me win. I'm dealing with six goblins. You know, it's a lot of ability damage. Hmm. I could use a doom and silence some people. Got another lucky coin. Let's see what we get here. <laughs> well, okay. I feel like it's kind of crazy to take that Mysterial Staff right now. Um, but I don't have a lot of other options. What do you got on you? Put another one on you. <sighs> okay. Okay. The other option is I take two cattle hides and I give everyone attack speed, but that's not insanely good either. I can hold this and I can wait to get a staff maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Well, we're going to need to make a decision, Jake, because I don't know how much longer we're going to last without. I could egg this evil knight. I just kind of don't want to. <laughs> Let's see. Fortune teller again. Fortune teller again? There's a reality where fortune teller becomes a three-star fortune teller. Okay. Uh, this gives everyone armor. I mean, maybe that's the right... Uh, I think I'm going to end up doing that. I don't like my options. I really want, of course to have that frosty frosty armor but it just doesn't look like that's going to be the case for us why do you heal him why do you heal the grand herald heal yourself buddy keep yourself alive our golly knight you dummy all right. Health's getting low. 39 health. Where are you, evil knight? You can't there you are. What do we say to the God of Death? All right. I am going to do that, actually. I'm going to go like this. Who's got the extra one? You do, right? I recognize how fun the ability could be on the other guy, but I'm gonna do this. Turn this here. And I'm just gonna move this over. I don't know who I'm gonna give it to. Maybe I'll give it to God of War or something, or maybe I'll just move Evil Knight over. And that way, you know, since Argali Knight's kind of like pew, shooting across the map, Evil Knight can hang out and, uh, buff everybody that's the plan uh yeah sure okay avenge our golly we're so close to our golly night get out of here avenge night it's not gonna be you and we got three of these health potions we can drink those at any time so, with the Avenge Knight having this piece of armor, that's going to help everyone, you know, like, in this situation, helps us a little bit, even though this assassin damage is just going to hit us like a truck, you know? It does increase our armor from all these attacks, but, ooh, they stunned him. Lucky coin. More green essence. I can now take one of these lucky coins for sure. I can make another one of these. I guess I can put one. Hmm. Maybe I'll put two of them. Like, 
two of them on you, and then this on you. Okay. And I can drink these potions soon, too. I can drink them whenever I want. No one can tell me what to do. I'm an adult now. I get to stay up late. All right. <sighs> one more golly night, and I'll use my egg. If I pulled this uh, cutie pie here, we'd have a better shot, I think, if I went with something else. But this is the build. The game is, like, telling me I have to do this, basically. My only other option is I take one of these. I can make this, right? A monkey king cane. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'll make a freaking monkey king cane. But I'm not happy about it. And I don't think it's any good. There's another fortune teller. I'm gonna drink these potions just in case. Just in case this is a worse loss than I anticipate. Okay. Come, ooh, another fortune teller. Another Argali knight. I got 20 health. 23 health. Do I roll down right now? Maybe I do. Maybe I roll here. Ooh, too strange. Okay. Screw it. Three star fortune teller, three star golly knight, three star evil knight, three star god of war. There we go. Everybody start up. We did it. We said we'd do it and we did it. No one can say we didn't do it because we actually did it. Is it going to keep us alive? I highly doubt it. I mean, it's very possible it doesn't. Hey, we broke our lost streak. Not too bad. Okay, now the question is, who do I want out there in this final position? I'm going up against... These two are close to death. In the final position... Huh. I could take someone like Doom. I could transition to Spirit. But then I'd have to pull my fortune teller, and it feels like why well, go all that way and then pull the fortune teller? I can't do that, right? Just feels it, it just feels like wrong to do that. Ooh, we're doing okay. That fortune teller is actually keeping everyone alive in such a bizarre way. <laughs> It's funny to watch, really. I mean, Doom helps me by silencing somebody. The assassins are gone. Hell Knight... I mean, I go to level 10 and get 6 Knight. Huh. Do I do that? Hmm. Do I go to level 10 and get 6 Knight? Definitely on you. Why does it always want to make me move units? I don't want to move units. I could three-star Avenge Knight. I probably should just take these items off Avenge Knight because I don't think he's hanging around long enough. He's not like one of the significant contributors to us winning this. I said that word weird. Contributor. He's not a significant contributor. Okay. Um, I kind of want to get six knights out there. I don't know how much money I need to do that. It's 48 to go to, to 10, right? He's dead. Venge, just staring at me laughing. Doom. I mean, right now I can get Doom out there. Huh. Blade. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm. What's he got? I mean, he's got the same thing he's had the whole time. He's just starring everybody up, so... I think I want six knights. I think I want six knights. I just need... I need two more. Yeah? I need, actu I need actually two knights to do that. Uh, I'm gonna make a penguin staff. Yeah, let's hex, hex somebody into a penguin. Why not? Dragon Knight, but that that doesn't work with our synergies. All right, we leveled up at least. Put spirits out there. Helicopter's better, but it's not what I'm looking for. It's Hell Knight again. I need another knight, and I need it to not be. Uh, Dragon Knight. I need Light Blade Knight. I need Goblin Knight. Frost Knight also doesn't work. Ugh. Oh no, is it over? Whoa! Big win! Big win there in that last round. Jeez. Well, that just ended up working out. And really what we saw there was not... Only did Fortune Teller actually turn on and really help us there... Uh, Divine Knight is just brutal. It's a great build. Against some pretty strong opponents, I would say. So, there you go. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you for requesting that build, MAT. I appreciate it. I love you all, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.